Hello everybody, I'm Tina Chaudhary. Welcome to my channel and a very warm namaste. Today I'm going to talk to you about an extraordinary cosmic event that's going to occur in the next few days. On December 21st, 2020, the two largest planets of our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, will come within 0.1 degree of each other the first time it's happened since 1623. Amazing that it's been that long and now we are going to be able to witness that in our lifetimes. They've already been coming very close since December and you can actually see them with the naked eye. You have to be in an open space. It has to be pretty dark and the, um, the sky has to be very clear. And if you look towards the west, you can see two very bright star-like objects coming really close together. On December 21st, they're almost going to merge, look like they've merged together, like an elongated star. And it's being called um, the Christmas star. And it's this conjunction of these two planets is being called the Great Conjunction. We're going to talk about what this means for all of us and what it means in Vedic astrology when these two giant planets come together and the effect that they could have on all of us and the world. In Vedic astrology or any astrology, when two or more planets come together in the same house, it's called a conjunction. There is a concept of um, planetary war. When two planets come together closer than one degree apart, it's called a planetary war or grahyut, meaning, think about it like this. Um, when somebody comes very, stands very close to you, do you get uncomfortable? I think you do. And the reason for that is that a human being or, uh, has an energy field around them that's called an aura. When somebody invades that space and somebody goes into your aura, it makes you a little uncomfortable. Can you imagine the, the energy or the magnetic effect a giant planet has around it? When another planet invades that energy space, or the magnetic space it starts to get the energy around that planet starts to get disturbed as well and hence it's considered or it's called a planetary war let's look at where this planetary war is occurring it's occurring in the house of capricorn and it's under the constellation or nakshatra of uttarashada uttarashada is a nakshatra that's ruled by the sun and hence in order to analyze the effects of this, we need to examine A, what does Jupiter mean? B, what does Saturn mean? And what does that constellation Uttarashara mean? And also the house of Capricorn. We have to put all of those together in order to analyze the effects of this uh, con grand conjunction. So let's take a look at the planets and the significations of both these planets. Um, Jupiter. Jupiter is considered one of the most benefic planets in the solar system or according to astrology. It is also called Guru or Brahaspati. Guru means wisdom, good things, blessings and also Adharma. Guru is also considered uh, Jeev or life-giving. In order for a mother to give birth to a child at any time, Jupiter in her, plan, in her birth chart needs to be activated on that day and at that moment. Hence, Guru gives life. Guru is abundance and all good things that give health and happiness to us. That's, that's Jupiter. Let's take a look at Saturn. Saturn is considered to be one of the most malefic planets in Vedic astrology or in astrology in general. Why? Saturn is a very slow moving planet. It takes 30 years to go around the sun. Hence, it does denote delays and struggles because it moves so slowly and it's such a dark cold planet it it signifies troubles hard work and labor amongst other things so that's why these two planets are so conflicting in nature one so benefic the other one so malefic saturn also signifies karma it is called the lord of karma guru is called the lord of dharma and saturn is called the lord of karma Saturn is a very hard taskmaster. It keeps track of all our karma. Everything that we've done, good or bad, 
Saturn is the keeper of all of that. And hence, it decides the consequences of when and where to give us the consequences of everything we've done, good or bad. Let's take a look at the nakshatra or the constellation this grand conjunction is happening in. The grand conjunction is happening in the nakshatra called Uttarashada. Uttarashada is a, con is a very, very beautiful nakshatra that's ruled by the sun, but it also signifies loneliness. It doesn't signify a bad loneliness. It signifies the exalted or spiritual loneliness. What is a spiritual loneliness? It signifies detachment, a, a loneliness, a detachment that's willingly done, a detachment from luxuries and the world where you have everything, yet you detach willingly from them because you just don't want it anymore. You want to elevate yourself. One of the best examples I can give you for that is Stephen Jobs. He had a very active Uttarashara in his in his birth chart and you can see how even though he had everything he was one of the richest men he had just such a m minimalistic lifestyle that he lived he didn't really get into a lot of things and and live a very luxurious lifestyle he lived a very simple lifestyle that's Uttarashara for you so when Saturn and Jupiter are poised for war, one is the Lord of Karma and one is the Lord of Dharma, who is going to win the war? It's already predetermined that Saturn will win the war. Why is that? Because um, based on the degree and the house that's in, Saturn will win the war. Unfortunately, Karma wins over Dharma in this case. One of the things that I neglected to mention earlier is that it's happening on December 21st, which is the day of the winter solstice. So that's going to be a very important factor in one of the predictions that I'm going to make later on in the video. Let's do some analysis and predictions now. One of the things that I mentioned was that this grand conjunction is happening on the day of the winter solstice. What does that mean? It means <coughs> that there will be a very harsh winter in the northern hemisphere and a very harsh summer in the southern hemisphere. Why? Because Saturn is generally considered a hard working hard taskmaster and don't forget Uttarashara means loneliness it's going to keep people inside due to cold or, or or heat also there will be a climate change after this also there will be a lot of stricter controls regarding environmental policy and environmental control there will be a lot more leadership in all the countries that will take it very seriously and start to work on it in a more serious manner serious manner. Saturn represents food, agriculture, and the common man. Saturn also represents limits, boundaries, and everything small, minimalistic. Hence, there will be a shortage of food supply for sure. Um, also, because the people will be challenged for food, supplies, rations, there may be protests by these people against leadership because of the fact that they may be f financial challenges and the shortage of food. Since Jupiter represents Dharma and our religion, and it has lost the planetary war. There may be situations of conflict between countries and communities based on religious differences. And there may actually be situations, warlike situations created within the world. Unfortunately, it's a prediction. That's not a very good one, but needs to be said. Latin promotes a very minimalistic approach. It gives us boundaries. It doesn't like luxuries. It wants everybody to have a very simple, uh, non-luxurious life. Hence, the economy will be challenged and finance will be affected. There will be loss of jobs and the common man will protest against the leadership due to this loss of jobs, the slow economy and the financial hardships that they're suffering. I think I've already mentioned this in my lunar eclipse, this or the solar eclipse. And this grand conjunction is actually reinforcing some of those predictions that I've already mentioned before. I do have a word of um, just caution for some individuals. Um, when we have cancer in our bodies, it's caused by a uh, planetary influences together of Jupiter, Saturn, and Rahu. And this in these planets together are actually right now, you know, influencing each other. So if you've suffered from cancer previously, or if you feel you're, you know, you may have a tendency or something like that, it may not be a bad idea to get yourself checked up right now. Uh, make sure you're good, you're clean, because um, 
this this yoga is being formed right now until April, and so um, y it's a very good idea to just get checked up, and because Jupiter in is is in a bad state, and when when it does that in conjunction with Saturn and Rahu, um, it does cause uh, it gives rise to you know cancer. Not to everybody, not to everybody. There has to be a yoga in in, in your chart, but it it for people that are prone to it, it may activate that. So please don't panic I mean I'm just saying that I'm just putting it out there but everybody doesn't have to run out and get and get checked out so um, people that may be prone to it or have had it in the past I think it's it would be a very good time to get checked out good luck I hope everybody understands that I'm definitely not making these videos and giving some grim predictions to scare people it's just to make people aware of what's going on and what may occur around you. Um, everybody doesn't ever affect, um, get affected equally. Um, and people just need to be aware of their surroundings. There's absolutely no need to get scared of them. Just be aware of what's happening or what may happen and prepare accordingly. One of the guidance that I do have for everybody though is that regarding their finances and investment. Think very carefully before you make investment changes financial changes because um, it, it is a challenge right now Saturn likes people to think through things and make decisions very slowly and with careful thought uh, don't do anything rash and make rash decisions regarding jobs career or your money a lot of people have asked me um, how long does this effect last uh, the effect lasts until either one of the planets has changed their house so Saturn's mm -hmm. extremely slow like I've mentioned before several times it's just gonna hang out in Capricorn for uh, the next year and a half um, Jupiter moves much faster than and then uh, Saturn so it's gonna move along faster and it's actually uh, on April 5th it's gonna be out of uh, uh, Capricorn and into Aquarius so um, it's about three months that the effect will last now generally the old scriptures say that the effect of such a grand conjunction stays for three months so that would make the obviously the three months now also uh, based on our Vedic text it says that the effects of these kind of this kind of a conjunction uh, are seen in three phases so the first month uh, you don't really see much of a difference and it stays okay. And the second phase, you start to see a, a little bit of a negative um, impact or effect. And the third month is where most of these predictions um, or the, the most of the grim predictions start to come out true. It's the third month that's really not the greatest month. So um, that's it for my video. If there's anything, uh, other topics that you guys want me to cover, please make sure you add them in the comments and let, let me know if there's anything else that you want me to talk about now my next video is going to not be about astrology it's going to be about a beautiful simple mantra that's just the most amazing thing that people can do for uh, a lot of wish fulfillment it's actually it actually works really well very simple but works really well so make sure that you subscribe to my channel there's so many viewers that are watching the video but they're not subscribing so you don't get notification of my next um, video so if you like the video please hit the like button share my video with your friends and family and then um, subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of what my next video will come out my next video is going to be awesome guys you really do want to watch it so goodbye for now and good luck